So you're planning to come to Anime Expo and you're probably wondering, well, how much does it cost? Well, today is my last day at this hotel and which pretty much means this is like the fourth day of Anime Expo and the amount of money I spent. That being said though, the event has been a lot of fun and I want to show you guys just how much the average person spends at this convention without actually going the cheapskate route on everything. Me tiene loco en la cabeza cuando me tocas Siento que todo está bien, pero it's only been the morning and I've already spent like $37. So, I mean, that's something to expect. Uh, parking here in this area is very expensive. You can spend up to like 20 to like $40. But now we're gonna attend a panel called Unlock Undead. And I think they're hosting voice acting uh, panel where I guess they're gonna like give auditions to people. Wish me luck and I hope I don't suck. <laughs> So we pretty much got off that panel and to my surprise, uh, the, all the auditions were on the stage. So I didn't get picked, so I didn't have to like obviously audition, which I'm pretty glad because there's just no way I would have been able to actually like audition in front of all those people. But now that that's over, I'm going straight to the exhibit hall and there are sadly to buy any last things I didn't get. The exhibit hall this year had some interesting stuff. I got this DDR lanyard for $12. Then I got this Tomodachi for $25. After that, I headed down to the artist alley to get this awesome Ruby and Aqua print, power print, and lastly this Kakigure card set and print. And I almost got a tattoo, but the nerves overtook me and I just decided not to. Now the last thing I did the fourth day was attend a maid cafe, which was $28. I highly recommend you guys do it. I know there's a stigma about being cringe and weird, but surprisingly, I found it one of the most fun interactive experiences at the con. Overall, I spent $220 that day. Now let's quickly recap how much I spent throughout the week. The first day I spent $24 total on transportation to take an Uber and back. Food expenses were $19 for a sandwich and a water. A banana and a cookie were $7. And my Subway dinner was $11. Now I'm gonna add after partying to the equation. Consider this a sad quest if you're not into that sort of thing. Part of the night party, we were pretty much Went to Anime Expo with the homeboy again. He went in round yeah, two. Yeah, came back for round two. So pretty much, as you know, we keep documenting the expenses. Ooh. And right now we pretty much have to pregame it, guys. And my advice is if, if you guys can, pregame it because it's drinks here in LA. Freaking expensive. This total was uh, 20, uh, 20, 27. 27. This was $27 and I was like $3. So, so like Sprite. $31, $34. So there you go, $34 for this. Uber was $24. Drinks and cover fees at the clubs were $95, which made day one a total of $215 in total expenses. For day two, transportation was $24 again. Food expenses was $12 for a fruit cup, $12 for a sandwich, and $22 for Uber Eats, making it a total of $70. Day three, transportation was $24 again. Food expenses were $25 for breakfast, $25 for lunch, and $10 for 7-Eleven snacks and dinner, which made a total of $84 with hotel expenses included of 693 and day zero expense of $40. My total expense for Anime Expo was $1,324. I wish I had an extra pair of hands to help me out with this, but one thing I want to do is ask other people, like how much money should you bring before coming to this expo? Because it is kind of pricey, but you know, I'm sure there's some people out there who might say otherwise. So I want to ask you, how much money do you think you should bring to Anime Expo? Probably about 500 bucks if you just want to get by, but thousand two thousand you might be safe 500 or 1000 i uh, like 500 dollars around there if you're planning on buying a figure but i think 200 should cover you um definitely bring maybe like 300 dollars at least you're gonna spend probably 60 on food a day minimum so if you're gonna spend stuff bring money anywhere between 600 and 1000 because we'll be here even on like day negative one or day zero. You maybe want to see LA for another day. So around 600 to 1,000 is my ballpark if we're talking after flight and hotel expenses. Overall, I had a blast at the convention and honestly guys, I still think it's one of the best cons around. Definitely worth the cost. With that being said, there are three tips that are must follow. Number one, get a hotel as close as you can to the convention as trust me guys, you guys are gonna thank yourself later, especially you guys want to go back and forth to the con it's such a game changer number two don't try to save money and skip out on meals your health is more important than the convention and having fun so make sure you guys eat number three is for a minimum make sure that your hotel has a fridge though a kitchen and a microwave would be ideal 
but honestly a fridge is mostly all you need because in the morning when you guys are running out you're trying to get there something quick you really don't have time to go out and go to a restaurant wait in line and get yourself a meal if you guys could quickly prepare an oatmeal uh some yogurt or even prepare yourself a late night snack that would be a huge time saving thing that doesn't include all the waters and drinks you guys could store in the fridge hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you guys want more information of anime events going on in orange county la and riverside make sure to follow my instagram orange county anime to stay up to date with the latest events i'll catch you guys later